TransferWise Wise Money Transfer Tutorial How to Use TransferWise for Beginners Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and for today's video, I will be showing you the easy step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can use TransferWise for beginners. So without further ado, let's get started. So first thing first, go to their website at wise.com and by the way wise is a money transfer service allowing private individuals and businesses to send money abroad without hidden charges it's cheap and fast way to send money abroad and this is the transfer wise homepage and here you can directly see the feature for currency exchange and same with other transfer service platform you can have personal account or business account here. Business account is perfect for those employers to pay their employees from different country or using different currency. But here the first thing that we need to do is to create an account. So click on register button up here and then just enter your email or you can just register with your Google account, Facebook account, or Apple account. I will be choosing Google account for today's video. This is much easier for me. So let's go ahead. Once you're a Google account connected, then the next thing you need to do is choose if you want to create personal account to send, spend, and receive around the world for less. Or business account, perfect if you do business or freelance work internationally. I will just go ahead and create a personal account. And after that, choose your country or primary residence. Then verify your number here with code. So just enter your number here and the next thing is enter the verification code that was sent to your phone over here. And once done, just click on submit button. Then just create your own password here. It must contain letters and numbers only with a minimum of 9 characters. Then just wait for them to set up your account. And once your account has been completed, then hit continue and wait for you to be redirected to your account dashboard. And this is now the home dashboard. You can directly see the currency exchange right here and convert the money that you want to transfer to the currency you want your receiver to have. For example, dollar money to Philippine peso. So for example, here I will be transferring $1,000 and here you have options if you want to be debit bank transfer or ACH transfer. Or wise transfer now these two options are just the same the only difference is the speed of transfer because for ACH payment it may take three to five business days and for wide transfer it's instant once you transfer just a second or minutes your receiver can see the money in her or his account instantly with a wire transfer However, wire transfer is more expensive than the SCH and that is because of the convenient and speed of the transfer. Here you can see two different fees, the transfer fee and the platform fee. This is the payment for using their platform for them to convert your money. So the fee charges depends on how much you want to send. So for example, if we change the amount to 500, you'll see here, their fee also changes. But the wire transfer or instant transfer fee is fixed for $4.14. So this is great if you want to send a big amount of money, you can take advantage of this wire transfer fee because it doesn't change even though you will be sending less or more the charge fee is fixed for four dollars and 14 cents but their service fee changes all the time depends on the amount that you want to be converted and transferred the amount that you entered here to be transferred will be deducted for fees and here is the total amount that will be converted and will be transferred to the receiver. And this is the exchange rate used and this is guaranteed for the last 8 hours. And up here you see the 5 steps to transfer the money. The first one is the amount you want to transfer and that is what we just did. Then you or your information, then your receiver information, then the review, reviewing of all the information. And lastly, pricing your payment. So once amount to transfer has been completed, then 
down here you can see the compare prices if you want to compare the price from different money transfer provider you can see it here but for now let me close it and let's continue then here just provide if the transfer is personal transfer or business transfer so let me just go ahead and choose personal transfer here then next just provide your information like your personal account your full legal name your date of birth address and then phone number if for business account provide your business details like your country business name business type your role in the company registration number your website your business info and address let me just go back to my personal account and let me fill out this form very quickly and once done just provide who are you sending money to it can be in your own other account or someone else or it can be a business or charity if for someone else then just provide the receiver information like their email then the bank details like full name of the holder the bank name the bank account number then lastly the recipient address then confirm but for business or charities just the same provide their email the business name or organization name bank name and then the bank account number and then address once you completed this step, the recipient details, then you need to review all the information to make sure everything is correct, especially the account number, bank name, and holder name, since that information is very important for your transfer transaction to continue and successful. Once information has been reviewed, then you can process your payment here. You can provide your bank information where you want the payment to be deducted. and uh, once payment has been set up, then the money will be sent to your recipient account. And over here, you can close the Send Money dashboard, and you'll be redirected to the main home dashboard. Here in your home, you can see all your activities and transactions. You can see the Send Money and Receive Money transactions here, but right now we don't have it yet. And under cards is where you can add bank cards info so that you can just process the payment easily next time. And also you can add your recipient information so that next time you'll be sending money again, it just need a few clicks. And under manage is where you can see your account details, where you can view your details for receiving money from the other user. Or you can also set up on how you can receive money you can receive money by your email or just phone number. And then you can also set up your direct debit, also schedule transfers, auto conversions for you to set up specific exchange rate to convert your money to automatically. You can also request for payment over here and also get statements and reports. And under your name is where you can see your details info, settings, help center, and logout. So pretty much it. So that's how you can easily use TransferWise for transferring money abroad. As I can see in their user interface, it's very simple and easy to use. So that's how you can easily transfer money here on TransWise platform. So I guess that's all for today's video and I hope that this video helped you. And if you have any question, just comment down below and thank you for watching.